What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, let's continue our discussion about Navisworks Manage 2025. So this time, we're going to learn the tools on our item tools. Okay, so we are going to explore the tools that we can use when we select an object in Navisworks to modify our model. Okay, so we can find this on the item tools tab. Okay, so but before we start, so I'm going to export a model. Okay, so I have this sample model, Snowdon Towers uh, sample HVAC. Okay, so this is just a free sample file. So all you have to do is to go to file and then you go to open and then look for sample files. Click for that one and then here's the sample files. And this is the one that I have open. Okay. Is no done tower sample HVAC, which is this one. So for this exercise, I just turned on all the model categories, turned off all the annotation categories, turned off analytical model categories, turned off imported filters, turned off all the links are turned off. So I only need the HVAC, and then I also change the detail level to fine, and then the uh, visual style to shaded view okay and then after that I'm going to export this to NWC all right so let's go to add-ins externals I'll select Navis works uh, 2024 I don't have 2024 I only have 2025 but that's fine okay so this is the file name NWC I'll just save it on documents that's fine so let's save it all right, so it's now saved to NWC. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open my Navisworks. And then here, I'm going to select Open. And then let's go to the Documents. Let's look for the Snowdon NWC, which is uh, this one. So let's select that one. And then I'm going to select here, Open. And there you go. Oops. So let me select the home view so I can see the model. So I'm going to change my uh, view. So instead of perspective, I'm going to right click the view cube and then I'll select here orthographic just like that. And then let's see. All right. So here's now my model. Okay. So let's explore the item tools for you to be able to access the item tools. You need to select the model. Okay. So you need to select first an element or a model on your design okay so let's say for example i'm going to select this equipment here so i'm going to select that so from the home tab so i'm just going to use select tool because we have two ways of selecting an object so we have select you can click it one by one like that one by one or you can change that to select box wherein you can pick two points like window like that okay but for this one i'll just make it select okay and then i'm going to select this equipment so once you select the equipment you can see here the item tools okay if i click outside it will deselect the element and it will disappear the item tools will disappear okay so i'm going to select the equipment and then from the item tools, I'm going to click that one. And then here you'll be able to see some of the tools that you can use in modifying an object or objects in Navisworks Manage. Okay, so I have the, let's say, for example, the first one that, I'm, that I want to discuss is the hold tool. Okay, hold tool, this one. So when you navigate around a model in Autodesk Navisworks, it is possible to pick up or hold selected items and move around with them in the model. So what's the purpose? Like, for example, the reason why we are using the hold tool, you may want to view a plan view of our equipment for a factory, for example, and you would like to see a different configurations of the location of the equipment. So that's the use of the hold. So I'm going to select this and then I'm going to select hold. 
click that one. So what's the definition? So it says, it allows holding of selected items and moving around with them in the scene. Okay? So like, for example, you may be viewing a plan for a factory and would like to see different configurations of the machine's uh, layout, for example. So I'm going to select hold. All right. And then after that, as you can see, if I pan my drawing, it's now moving. Right. So I can orbit. So it's now moved in this location. Okay. So I'm going to select the top view like that. And then I'm going to hold again. So let's click hold that one. And then I'm going to pan my drawing. Okay. If you zoom out, it will deselect the hold tool. Okay. So I'm going to select hold. And then I can pan my drawing. So let's say here, here, here. Okay. So it's up to you. So it's up to you. So you can place it here. And then after that, you can zoom in, zoom out again. So it will deselect the whole tool. Then you can orbit. So you just move your element, right? So you can also do this as a uh, multiple element selected. So let's say I want this to be returned back to its uh, normal location. So for that, you can select here, reset, transform. Okay, so just make sure it's still selected. So reset, transform, so just click that and it will go back again here. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to select multiple elements. Okay, so I'll click outside to deselect the object. And then from the home, I click the drop down arrow here and then I'll select uh, select box. So let's click that. So I want to select this group here, that one. And then maybe I want to go to the top view. There you go. And then again, elements are selected so from the item tools i'm going to select hold maybe i'm going to zoom out first so i can see the whole uh view so i'm going to select hold and then i can start panning my drawing so let's say this is just a preview so i want that there or you want it somewhere here so it's up to you so let's click there there you go and then zoom in zoom out it will deselect or it will turn off the hold tool and let's say I want that to move to the lower portion. Again, it's still selected. So this time I'm going to select front. And then I'm going to zoom out so I can see the whole thing. And then I'll select hold again. Click. And then I'm going to pan my drawing. So let's say I want it somewhere here. Okay. And then click outside. There you go. All right. So that's how you use your hold tool. Now I'm going to select again the whole elements and then i'll go to item tools and then i reset transform there you go okay so that's for our hold and then the other one is focus on item so this is on the look at panel so focus on item so it's the definition it focuses the current view on the selected items it's just zooming okay so when you are in focus mode Clicking an item swivels the camera so that the point click is in the center of the view. Okay, so let's so let's try selecting other objects. So let's say um, uh, this equipment. So let's click this one. Okay, so I cannot click this equipment because currently it is selected select box. So I need to select select. So I can select one by one again. Click that. And then let's get. Uh, let's now click that one okay and then very simple focus on item so let's say i selected that and then i want focus on item there you go so as you can see it swivels so based on the definition focus says when you are in focus mode clicking an item swivels the camera so that the point clicked in the center of the view is in the center of the view okay okay focus on item so it's just the same as zoom actually so for me let's say i'll select this one here and then item tools let's select zoom click that one and it will zoom to that one okay so that's on our look at okay so let's go to the visibility so we have the hide 
and then we have require so obviously hide it will hide the object okay so let's click that and then let's hide there you go so it's now hide and then click again to unhide okay so self-explanatory the other one is require so it forces the selected items to remain visible during interactive navigation regardless of any performance settings because sometimes if our model is too complex it's too big whenever we try to navigate our object or try to move walk orbit our model sometimes the 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 machine that we are using it's not that too capable so that's why Navisworks will try to hide some of the elements that is not needed to the to the view when you are navigating okay so that's the reason why we are turning on require so let's say you do not want these elements to be hidden when you are navigating so you can force Navisworks to do that so it will always show this element by making it require okay so it forces the selected items to remain visible during interactive navigation regardless of any performance settings okay so it's always there it will always show in your 3d model okay so it will not disappear all right so that's your require so you can click that so that element is now required okay so let me just go back here and require this and then you will also notice when you require an element so you see this is our equipment right so if i select here require it will change the color you see it changes it changes the color right so that means that particular equipment is required so it will always be shown in your 3d model regardless of the performance settings so it will always show whenever you navigate your model okay so let me uncheck required okay right so let's click again you can select any object that you want let's go to item tools okay now so we have the transform here so we have move rotate scale trans uh, we we know already how, uh, what's the reset transform so it resets the position rotation and scale of the selected items back to their original values okay so that's the reset transform so if you mess up just click this one all right so move self-explanatory so let's move this so let's say i'll just go to the top view and i only oh, uh, maybe i'll just select this one the top one let's click that let's go to the top okay all right so let's move so before i do that i'm going to expand transform so i can see here the default position when i move when i rotate when i change the scale okay so i'm going to pin that so let's click this there you go all right so now let's start to move so make sure you select an object and then let's start moving so let's click this all right so you can now see your uh gizmo so the gizmo so that's your x axis so that's your y axis positive direction of y axis positive direction of x axis positive direction of z axis okay so if i move this x axis here so you, it will change automatically the position here so if i drag that just move your pointer over that gizmo and then if you move that see it's positive so if i go to this value it becomes negative right okay and then i can also move that there you can also move it here and then you can also type in the value that you want so let's say you want that to move along x axis like five meters so this is in meters so i'm going to type five okay and so let me just change that to five and then enter there you go so it's now move here so you can type in here the exact value of the element that you want to move along x y or z okay so z axis so you can move up so there is the value all right 
okay so that's your move very simple right so it's really simple so now i'm going to set uh, reset the transform reset transform to go back to the default location so let's click that there you go the other one is rotate so just click the rotate so when you click rotate the rotation here will becomes enable right again you can type here the exact value when you want to rotate it along x along y or along z so let's say for the x so i want 45 degrees enter so it's now on 45 degrees okay again you can also rotate from here like 45 So let me just change the value back to zero. So let's say for this one, I want 45. There you go. Okay. Again, if you mess up, just select reset transform. So just click that. There you go. So same same with uh, C axis. So you can change that one as well. Okay. The other one here is scale. So if you want to change the scale of your model, so make sure again you selected the object and then just click scale scale will now be enabled here so you want that to be scale along x along y or along z okay again you can change here the value the exact value okay some reason I can't change it okay so let me just change again let's let's try okay I'll just reset it <laughs> all right so I can change here so let's type it to double the value type it to double the value okay Z to enter all right so that's how you use your uh, move rotate scale and then reset transform click there you go okay so let me just unpin this one and then click outside okay so that's for your hold panel look at visibility and transform panel so this will only be available if you select an object right okay so that's your item tools all right so that's for our item tools okay so for our item tools so we have discussed uh hold look at panel visibility panel and transform panel so we are going to discuss the other panels on our um next videos future videos okay but for now thank you for watching have a nice day